Wow, it's been a while since we did a shop vlog, mostly because I got sick and it took me about a month to recover. No, it's not this coronavirus thing, this is something different. And I'm kind of not fully recovered yet, but I am working hard to catch up. And that includes getting you caught up on the behind the scenes happenings around the shop. So welcome to shop vlog number 22, I think it is. This is what we'll be talking about. And between the subjects, you can enjoy watching Pete assemble one of the coolest bench fixtures you're ever gonna see. About three weeks ago, we made a tip video about cordless impact drivers and cordless drills. I'll link to it below this video so you can watch it if you haven't already because it includes some really important tips that I had to learn the hard way. For example, I talk about how you shouldn't use an impact driver all the time because that extra torque can cause you some problems. But like anything on the internet, this somehow proved to be a little controversial. We got a lot of construction guys, I think, who just love their impact drivers because they spend all day just blasting construction screws through two by four framing, and they can't understand that certain woodworking projects just can't be done that way. I tried to explain the differences in the video, but you know how it is, people hear what they wanna hear. However, a few commenters made a good point that maybe I should have included in the video. Some companies now make cordless impact drivers with a more reliable variable speed feature, and some even with adjustable torque settings. So with these settings, you may be able to better control the torque and do more delicate work with them. The problem is these models aren't typically found in the drill and driver sets most people buy from their home centers. And many of them are very expensive, like about $200 for just the driver without a battery. So what are the chances that the average woodworker has one of these high-end models? That's why I kind of stand by what I said in the video. Impact drivers are very useful for construction or for a cabinet installation or for any situation that requires a lot of power. But the clutch feature on a cordless drill makes it more useful in most woodworking shops. Check out the video, you'll see. Occasionally we rerun video content on this channel. Most people don't notice, or at least they don't comment about it, but especially since we moved into this new shop, some folks have noticed the background and some of these occasional clips that we run is in the old shop and they wonder if we moved back or what's going on. So they ask, is this a rerun? Well, the answer is yes, but also kind of no. We don't repost entire videos but some of the longer tutorials we make are packed full of tips and tricks, so many so that some of our viewers may miss some of them or may just forget some of them. So we sometimes extract those little bits from the longer videos and turn them into short, quick tip videos later on. A good example was our five-part Table Saw 101 series. It was about an hour long in total, which is a lot for YouTube videos and it was just loaded with little tips. It's been about a year since it was released, and every once in a while, like we did about a week ago, we will repost a couple tips taken from that series as new quick tip videos. I'm not doing it because I'm lazy or because I'm out of video ideas. I'm just doing it because it genuinely benefits our audience, both new subscribers who never saw the original series and those who did see it but kinda enjoy being reminded. We don't do it very often, but if you see a video that looks old or you think you're experiencing deja vu, that's probably what's going on. We 
We've been working on several projects here out behind the scenes, and you've seen little bits and pieces of some of these already in the shop vlog videos, such as the Hickory bathroom set. Well, we've also built a bed from ash, some floating shelves, and we're working on a large built-in kind of liquor or wine cabinet. All these projects include lots of tips and techniques that will be of interest to you, even if you don't build the projects themselves. So we're going to be making a lot of different types of videos from this content. I'm not sure that all the projects will show step by step to get through all of them in video content, but we will definitely take the more interesting parts like how to make the arches and things like that. And of course, some of these projects will probably appear in future issues of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal as complete tutorials once we relaunch that e-magazine, which hopefully will be in the next few months. And we're looking at um, early summer. We've also got some shop projects coming up, including a super strong lumber rack and an easy to make table saw side table and an adjustable universal clamp rack, which will be for our small shop viewers. Remember, we built a one car garage size shop here specifically for small shop folks, and we're gonna start doing more projects in that. These will be the first of that series. So I'm looking forward to that, and I know a lot of you are as well. I hired a film to build a new website for us. This is just kind of the template for the home page, and a lot of what you see is just placeholders, so don't pay too much attention to it. We're not selling jogging clothes and watches. This is just a quick glimpse of what it may look like. Our goal is to create a site that looks nice, but it's also simple to use. We'll organize many of our best tutorial videos by subject, so you can find what you need easily, and we'll be making room for our new project plans and our paid e-magazine once it launches. I think you'll really enjoy this new site, but it's gonna take a little while to get finished, so look for it sometime later this summer. By now, many of you have probably figured out what Pete's building. It's Andy Klein's awesome twin turbo vise. Andy is a YouTuber. I'll link to his channel below so you can check it out, but he's also a tool inventor. And this vise is maybe his best work to date. It not only looks awesome, it also includes some extremely useful features. The twin screw design gives you a wide jaw with plenty of space in the middle, so you can let your workpiece protrude down towards the floor without hitting a screw that might be in the center of a standard vise. This is great for dovetailing, especially wider panels. It's not the first twin screw vise ever made, but it's unique in that it uses meshing gears instead of sprockets and a chain to keep the two screws in sync and the jaw parallel to the bench top as you open and close it. This prevents some of the misalignment issues some have had with other twin screw vices. And it makes possible one of the coolest features of all, a two-speed clutch for fast and slow cranking. Besides, it looks amazing. And when you buy a vice like this, you support the inventor himself instead of the retailers and the middlemen that usually suck up a lot of the profits. So that means you get more than just the great vice, you also make it possible for Andy to invent other great innovative tools that you may benefit from down the road as well. These things aren't cheap, but I don't think they're any more expensive than any other high quality vice. In fact, I think they're pretty reasonable considering he makes these in very small quantities and does the shipping and everything and the marketing all himself. If you want to have a look, I'll link to Andy's site below this video. You really should check him out. Well, that's it for this shop vlog. Time to sit back and have a cold one, because you've earned it, my friend. If you sharpen your tools by hand, do yourself a favor. Try one of Trend's diamond stones. You can start with a card, but before long, you'll want a full bend stone, because these things cut fast, they stay perfectly flat, and you can go from stone to strop to wood and be back to work in under a minute. I'll link to my favorites in the notes below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.